for all my life They say I'm a fella, end up in jail, I ain't proven right My mama, she told me before, son, you get it I understood, but I ain't see the vision A nigga kept going, a nigga kept going, and now I'm winning Some people I put my trust in, try to fuck with my hands Oh, no, 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 you didn't Some say you forgive, but don't forget it now you know how we do Lock that back door, don't let no one through I told Michi in these streets ain't no rules He say, cuz all oh, this life we ain't put on with this yeah. And I understand that this shit wasn't easy But nigga, we did it Yeah, yeah And all them hoes and all them niggas That wasn't fucking with us, then we them niggas And now we rich now We got money I don't give a shit, no And we did it Young nigga come off for nothing Now he gettin' to them ridges And it's the life of a young, rich nigga Three, four, five Yeah, I ain't playin' with your ass Nigga, I ain't playin' with your ass You chasing greatness You chase, you got greatness talking to you Become great Yo, 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 yo Rise Podcast family, what's going on? What it do, what it is. Hope everybody had a great day today. Shout out to everybody in the building, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Excuse me. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Share the show. Go tell a friend and jump on rock out with us tonight, man. It's Thursday night. We're going to break it down real quick. First, we're going to get the sponsors out of the way. Three-time champ. Five different weight divisions. The hard-hitting, devastating puncher. Excuse me, Javante Tank Davis. Redesigning minds one mind at a time. You know a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Under Armour, thanks for all you do for the gym and the community. Shout out to all the fighters, coaches, parents, volunteers. You know what I mean? Everybody, you know what I mean? They be helping, keeping that gym moving, man. Uh, your, your work doesn't go unnoticed, man. So appreciate everything that everybody's doing, man. Uh, it takes a village. Shout out to Bad Girls Promotions, man. Uh, Miss Olivia Pope, EOE, Education Over Everything. Shout out to Under Armour. Got them already. Shout out to KenichiBed.com. Make sure y'all use code TRP. Get 15% off. Let me leave there. Go to www.noslipgallery.org. Use code RISE10. Get 10% off. When you leave there, go to MadKillerB.com. Then when you leave there, make your last stop to RISEPodcast.com. So show some support. Shout out to the JBT Network, man. If y'all not subscribed to the JBT Network, y'all need to go out there and check us out, man. We got J Hardcore coming on at 8 in the morning, 8 at night. We got Cash Sports coming on at 2 o'clock, dropping the history of boxing. We got Just Do, The Voice, coming on at 4 o'clock. He might give you an early show. He might surprise you with an early show. You know what I mean? He might come back going to a later show. He might go round the clock. Man, but y'all not subscribed to Just Do Boxing. Make sure y'all go over there and show him some love. We got Remo over there, Rich Threads. Let's talk fashions. Make sure y'all show him some love. Give you a show every Wednesday at 10 a.m. 10 a. Then you got Aunt, Aunt McQueen and, and Thomas Hill over there at the Casuals Corner, man. You never know when they're going to pop up breaking down a fight. Might be 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Might be 3 o'clock in the morning, man. But you know what I mean? They breaking down the fights. And y'all see how Aunt McQueen work, man. So you know what I mean? They breaking the fighters all the way down. So make sure y'all subscribe to Casuals Corner, man. Shout out to the JBT Network. Last but not least, the fighters wearing it, coaches wearing it, and now the Rise Podcast is wearing it. Y'all can say it with me in the chat. Box. Raw. What's going on, everybody? Miss Tanya Van Draws Williams. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you for the support on the Super Sticker, man. Like, hey, I'm glad to, glad to hear you ringing that bell. Glad to hear you ringing that bell, Miss Tanya. That's good news. 86 Baby Murray, what's going on? Daryl Hopkins, the queen, Miss Mona, how you doing? I'm the real deal, Israel, the Boxing Menu Podcast, Dollar 305, Melanin Queen, 27, uh, 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 D, Miss Arena's in the building, William Old School, my Cajun Connection, Naheem, how you feeling? Gregory Pratt, GP, is in the building, you know what I mean? He's in here. Big No Gaming, what's going on, champ? Flat Bush, Flat Go, welcome to the Rise Podcast. Burberry J, what's going on? Cosmic Lando, Brassic McClendon. There you go. There you go. There you go. Two o'clock. 
the box storian, Cash Sports. Teach, what's going on? Jarrell Davis, Boxing Dad is in the building. Grant Oliver, what's going on? Appreciate you, appreciate you. Break Fred, 410, what's going on, champ? Gen 2 Master, welcome to the Rouse Podcast. Eric, oh, what's going on? Dank Lucane, how you feeling? Patrick Jones, what's on? What's going on? The Chop Shop, what's happening? Dank Lucane, Lewis 4500, Eric, oh. Warren Holly, Reef, Kevin King, just do the voice. Four o'clock shorty, what's going on, my guy? Hey, hey. Now on, what do you say on bad boys from now on? That's how you drive. You ain't yeah, you ain't been holding back, Judge. You've been letting them have it, man. You've been had them letting them have it. They've been eating that up. Richie Baby, hey man, big, big, big shout out to Richie Baby, man. He be helping me out more than y'all understand, man. To help to make the podcast grow. Richie Baby, big shout, shout out and salute to you, chat. Lisa Smith, what's going on? You too, Miss Lisa. Thank you so much for all you do for the podcast, man. It really means a lot. You know what I mean? You be you be helping in more ways than you could understand. El Raphael, what's going on? Kevin Little John, Showtime the guy, my guy. C. Irvin the Wiz, Marcel Triggs, Branson, Crystal Purnell, Million Films. You heard Miss Tanya Van Draws Williams Jr. Movie game. Right back at you, Mister Him. Dangerous man. He not playing. Sleep special tomorrow. He not playing sleep tomorrow is special. He ringing that bell tomorrow. That's right. Oh, yeah, Naheem. And they some good sweaters, too. Marcel Triggs, what's going on? Rashad Warner, Nolan Martin, Traverse Bowles, what's going on, my guy? Black Parent, how you feeling? Aunt McQueen, what it do? Here I come, Aunt my phone and die. Here I come. Showtime E, Breezy. Demetrius Abrams, what's going on, everybody? How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? Like I said, Hope everybody had a great day today. Give me one second. Give me one second. Let me take care of this right here. My bad, aunt. There we go. There we go. Mr. Moore, what's going on? Man, hey. Hey. Now y'all can see what y'all want. All I want to say is my guy, shout out to shout out to him, man. He gave us a peek inside camp. And he killing them with the chrome, the chrome hearts punching bag, with the gloves to match. You seen it? You seen it first. That's all I'm saying. So so when somebody be like, no, nah, they biting wooty whoop, you know where it came from. You know where the idea was stored up. You know what I mean? You know how it got here. I don't want to hear nothing. No, everybody do that. Go ahead, Yvonne Powell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tired, Tommy Guns. Tired, champ. Stressed out, boss. What's going on? Yeah, man. So, you know what I mean? He gave us some pictures today. Let me see if I can, um, let me see if I can get this video up for y'all. Give y'all a little, little quick, little quick snippet of what we got going on. Here we go, right here. Here we go, my apologies. Here we go, we're gonna start the show off right. Just doing the 26, okay, okay. West Baltimore here, of course. Let's go, Team GTD, you know it. Finds these openings and sees them, but he doesn't go after them right away. He waits for the right time. He's right. so patient that if he can fucking crack you, he's going to take you out. Ben, please stop. Ain't crazy. no safety on this glass. All of my friends are dead. Leave them in the cold. Put them in the tundra. I go rage. Child, second I see her, I make a fumble. I was just in Texas with Aaliyah. I put in the jungle. They weren't in this atmosphere. Y'all see it? Y'all see the bag? Y'all see the gloves? What's y'all prediction?
Seven? You say black parent, you say seven? Breezy, you say eight? Abu Zang, what's going on, my guy? You say eight? I mean, you say seven? William Old School, you got the ninth. Marcel Trigg, you say the eight? One with nature, you got seven? Five through seven. Okay, okay. Six through eight. Okay. Eight, eight, eight. Okay. Did you get a chance to watch that uh, Frank Martin fight with Michelle Rivera this weekend? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen clips of it. Yeah. I've seen it. Is, that, is that a fight you'd, want, you'd entertain in the future, Frank Martin? Yeah, for sure. Of course. Yeah. Hell yeah. You ever tell yeah. Earl about him? Like, man. No, but I seen Earl say some say some uh, stuff about him. Earl better watch out. Get his fight to hurt bad. Like I did before. You know, it's too bad people can't see, but that was amazing sparring just now with you and Javante Davis. Mm -hmm. What'd you make of that session? It was good work. You know what I mean? Like getting out of the world champion. I held my own, he held his. Good experience, good experience. And, and, you know, heading into this Leo Santa Cruz fight, uh, people will be interested to see what you thought of, of everything, the power, the speed, the skills. What, what was your assessment of Tank Day? He's sharp. He's sharp. I don't think Leo, I don't think Leo going to have the, the speed or the reflexes. You know, you got to have some, I feel like you got to have some power. You got to be able to, you know, you got to be able to hold your own in there. Tank and beast. What did you think of the, the punch and power? He got some power. I put on with it. Yeah. Ah. And, uh, Shout out to Richie B, man. Talk to me, man. Basically, y'all said y'all said five through five through nine. That's what I seen. Yeah, booze ain't that you all depends what come on. Man, but y'all in the building, man. Ooh, 279, dangerous special. Y'all in the building, man. Y'all just need y'all to do me one favor. Just hit the button, man. Don't cost y'all nothing to hit the button, man. Don't cost y'all nothing to hit the button. Cash Sports say, I'm going to say three or four. I see a demonstration coming. I'm trying to tell you, man. I, me, I say inside seven. I see inside seven. Frank not coming to exchange. He's going to try to stick and move and get caught. I see inside seven. Dwayne Hass is my guy. Yo, 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 yo. What's good, Rise family? What's going on, Dwayne? How y'all feeling? How you feeling, my man? One on one Empire Network. What's going on, champ? GP, I can't wait to see Tank get back in the ring. Make boxing great again. You know it. Nah, Breezy, he ain't no slouch, but at the same time, it's levels. And we about to we about to be we about to see again. We about to be witnessed yet again. But my question is also like uh, I was waiting for the guys to come in, but my question also is Can these guys, can these guys, can these other companies keep up with Amazon Prime and PBC? Cause we getting we getting some hell of a cards. We getting some hell of a cards. That first card was fire. Then you ready tell me you ready put Benavidez and GTD on the same card? Oh my gosh, man. Oh my gosh. Al Raphael, you heard what Jaleel said. If he willing to die, you got to be willing to kill his ass. You know what I mean? So shout out to young Jaleel Hacking, man. Up and coming. My guy on the way. Shakur said he never seen a fighter win with one hand. Well, you witnessed it. They got to try to make them. They know the money Amazon bringing. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey. Hey, listen. Listen, keep keep it coming, man. I love it. All the talk, PBC, PBC going out of business, this, that, and the third. Man, they done linked up with Amazon Prime, and that first call was, whoo, I ain't complaining. I don't know about y'all, but I ain't complaining.
<laughs> yeah, you know how he coming out, Raphael. He not playing. Had the E. What's going on? Yeah, but I me me I say inside seven. That's just ah, that's that's where I'm at with it. Inside seven, man. I know he's been out of the ring. I know I know he's been out of the ring, but I think he focused and in, in determined, man. Um. Y'all haven't been paying attention, man. That that man, that man been on fight on on weight, on track since the Roley fight. He ain't blew up. He been on track since the Roley fight. The guy he gave us Roley, then he turned around, and gave us um, Hector, then he turned around and gave us Ryan. Had his little situation, you know what I mean? I'm trying to tell you, man. When he got out, he looked like he was ready to fight right then and there. You know what I mean? When he came in the gym. So, hey, I heard of, hey, baby, Big Fred, what it do, chat? Dominican Blow, what y'all think about Boots rolling out on PBC? Um, Hey, if that's going to get us more Boots, let's go. Let's go. Aunt McQueen, my God, what it do? How you feeling, Aunt? Feeling marvelous, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, talk to me. You see my guy drop some pics today, letting y'all, letting y'all see what Cantlin look like. Got the chrome house bag with the gloves to match. You know what I mean? What yeah, I saw mean? fancy, fancy. Showing off, showing off a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just clicked in when you were talking about boots. I agree. Keep yeah. them active. Keep them active. Yeah, what what hey, if that's what it takes to get them in the ring more? Let's go. I'm with it. I'm I'm for it. Yes, sir. Build that profile up, and then eventually. That's 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 what it would take, man. You know, you know, you know the, oh, big Fred, you know somebody gonna try to copy it. I ain't gonna say who, but you know somebody gonna try to copy it. if they haven't already uh, already got it in the works right now. Cause he, he he posted that picture um a while ago, so you know what I mean. But he never, you know what I mean. I don't think it was in yet. Working on, hey, he locked in. I'm, I, I've been working on it. Look good, feel good, box good all day long, all day long. Black parent, they ready to send boots to the UK to fight Connor Ben. Watch, I don't know. They might have to bring Connor over here though. Hey, I say do it in the UK. And you, you, you okay with it? See, I just don't like. Well, it. I know he's still. I think he might still be um banned out there. I'm not sure if he's been reinstated. If he could fight out there, man, bring, bring, bring. So that might be a roadblock. But in the event that he does get reinstated, I think that's a good fight to make out there. But you know, you know what I mean. Like we've been, we've been, we've been us Americans. We've been dying to see boots. We've been dying to see boots in the ring. So don't, don't do that to us. Don't, don't take that over there. I'm pretty sure there's some fans in the UK that would love to see him as well. Yeah, but you know what I mean. I, I'm, I'm not disputing that, but no, man. Bring Boots got to come home, man. And I'm sure the turnout would be good too, having the O2 or something like that. Man, listen, I, I know, I know, I know. Boots next fight if he if he in, if he in the country, I'm trying to go. Yeah, of course, but hey, I think right now it should be about building up his profile, build it up, get him active. Put them a nice uh, highlight reel together. Match room, they seem to be doing a pretty good job with the media side of things. So I like that move for him. Smoothie King, breaking news. Now the narrative is Floyd could have bought all the, t the tickets to make Floyd look good. And Tank ain't really selling. Leonard is lying. Man, these channels dumb. Man, listen, man. Listen, man. I, ain't, I don't even feed in a, I don't even feed in that because they trying their best. Man, you know, I was going to leave it alone, right? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Aunt, let me ask you this question. Have you ever heard of the fighters having a meet and greet before the fight? No, nah, I can't recall. Because I just I just got the email. They're doing a Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia meet and greet at 4.30 the day of the fight. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, they are desperately, desperately trying to get these tickets sold. Now, as they should be, man. They gotta they gotta recoup that money that they about to spend on the, the site fees, the venue, and everything else. Hey man, you gotta you gotta make that money back. 
If it ain't, gotta it, reconcile it, some way. If somehow, it ain't, it ain't it. You can't force it, man. If it ain't it, you ain't. It ain't it. You can't force it. Nah, you can't force it, but you can definitely maximize it. Try to you, you, optimize your situation some way, somehow. But why try to? Why try to? Why try to maximize it if you already um, if you already um. What's the word I'm looking for? Not hindered, but oh man, I'm having a brain fart. You see what Big Fred said. Unfortunately, they got to at this point, man. I mean, got to. <laughs> <laughs> you got to at this point. The fight is what next Saturday. You got to do something, man. You got to do something, and it's looking bleak. And we need that event to do well, man. Just just for boxing, we need that event to do well. We need all these events to do well. The, the better these events do, the more money is generated, the more events that, that can be thrown, and you know, the more fights we get as fans. So we, we need all these things to do well. And that's what people don't understand. Yeah, we joking, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, we joking, but we actually need this fight to do well so we can get the fight we want. You know what I mean? And they all oh, y'all hating. No, we're not hating, but it is kind of comical when you tell me you to face a boxer and your tickets ain't moving. At all, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't rearrange the prices three or four times. Now y'all doing a meet and greet. You know what I mean? Before the fight, like that's like so. Now y'all gotta get to the arena extra early because y'all gotta come do it. Hey, listen, man. That event should have never been in New York. That's just my. That's my. That's my take on it. And I'm not going back and forth. It shouldn't have been in New York. And if y'all was gonna put it in New York. Y'all should have put some players on that card that was going to bring some eyes and attention. You know what I mean? Put some asses in seats. Agree 1,000%. And I also feel as though they should have did a little bit more promotion. I'm not sure if you saw the video that Remo did, but he was over there on Atlantic Ave, and you don't really see no posters up, no billboards, nothing. But they kind of skimped out as far as the promotional side is concerned. So... If you were going to do it out here, I do agree. Like, definitely should have had somebody that was local. That's why I said, um, I know that the the, the fight is being promoted. I said, prom yeah, promoted by, uh, who is it? Golden Boy. But yeah. I saw some of the peripheral stuff was being done by Matchroom. Like, if you go on the Matchroom website, they actually have this fight up in the event section. So I think that they should have tried to find a way to um get that Riches and Hitchens Lemos on there. Mm -hmm. hey man listen like that would that would god bring some people in that would have been like you know what i mean like i just don't see like be, being a businessman and you trying to force that fight you know what i mean and regis regis and devin had more promotion than devin and ryan it certainly felt that way for sure. It definitely felt like there was more promotion. I think another thing that they possibly could have done too is put it in a different location. Maybe you could have had it at the Hulu Theater, especially if you wanted to sell it for the, the ticket prices for the prices that you wanted to uh sell them at. If they would have had it, if they would have had it at the Hulu Theater, the jokes would have been never ending. Yeah, possibly, but I don't think it would be a bad idea considering what they were charging for the ticket prices. I think that they had enough capacity in there for it to be a successful event. Like, yeah, it's a little bit more of an intimate setting, but still, I think that the prices were more justifiable as opposed to, you know, you got an arena like the Barclays that holds 19000 and you charging people damn near $500 for the cheap seats, and we don't even know who all is on the undercard, so... Do we even know now who's on the undercard? I'm not sure. Uh, City 313, I agree with that too. Texas definitely would have been a great location. Texas or just even in California. Devin's last fight was in California. They're both from California. Yeah. Victorville and um and the Bay Area, respectively. So I don't understand why they didn't put it out there. I'm pretty sure there's a reason why. But, yeah, it's like everything was kind of botched yeah but oh my gosh like i didn't I, i'm sitting here realizing like we still don't know who's on the undercard so what are we really paying for i just hope it does well 
I, I hope the pay per view does well because I want these guys to be able to, for one, make their money. I want everybody to get paid. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody to cash out. Everybody get that money. That's for one. But for two, you know, just as a boxing fan, again, like the success of these events, they have implications that span beyond the fight itself, but fights that can be made down the line. So I hope it does well. We ate. Hey, we... Right. For somebody, hold on. Somebody say. For, for somebody's sake, man. Coach Kenny, what's going on? Smoothie what's King. Huh? Smoothie King. What's going on? Turn. That man went from cheesing, spitting all on the camera. Look, you guys, 10K tickets in 24 hours. They have a draw. They line to now. Good brother. Why y'all doing Dev this way to be our people <laughs> pulling a <the> race car? <laughs> man, listen, man. You, what's up, Coach? Man. Much, man. You know, what's going on? Glad to see y'all I'm back, y'all. I honestly want to see the tickets move for the sport of boxing, man. You know, I think it's going to be a good fight. I'm asking all the fans to come out and support it, you know. We don't even know who on the undercard, though, so how can we, you know what I mean? Like, I know. I know. What are we supporting? We don't even know what we buy. Support the main, yeah, yeah, the main event. The main event, man. Y'all ain't got nothing good to say. Don't say nothing at all. No, I'm not saying nothing. I'm not a coach, 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 coach. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm not saying nothing bad because I keep telling we want the we need the fight to do well to get the fights we want. But I mean, you asked me to buy you asked me to buy a ticket and I don't know who's fighting. Again, again, that's that 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 comes on bad behalf because it can happen to anybody. I know the show gonna do pretty good. It's gonna do what it's supposed to do. I think they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna start jamming. They're going the show gonna do what it's supposed to do. It's as simple as that. They know that. Yeah. You know. I, I want I want to see I want to see the, you know a good turnout for the sport. You know. All shows gonna do what they're supposed to do because people gonna spend their money where they want to spend it at. So I, I got a question. <clears throat> what? Hey, coach. If I tell you right. I want you to come buy this truck. You gonna want test drive. You gonna know what the truck do. You ain't well, just gonna buy, right? We do, that. we do that with fighters now. We do the right. same so, thing with fighters. So, so I so, can't put a fight in a situation. And it's just like this: if if if, if, if a fighter don't promote itself or don't do certain things to, uh, to make things happen, you know, you won't get what you won't get. But how can a promote the cow can a fighter promote himself if he don't even know he on a car? I don't know. I mean, they put that car together. That's not my job. Hey, hey Calvin, I think I'm going to ask Tank to just go to the fight to autograph people's tickets. Huh? I'm going to ask Tank to go to the fight to autograph people's tickets so the audience can come in. Yo, we in camp. How are we going to do that, yo? Oh, damn. I forgot. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I, got, I, got a, I got a I got a real important interview for Tank. And we can't even do that because I'm not breaking camp. You know, I don't break camp. Yeah, I know you don't break that shit for nothing. I don't break it. Well, so if I break it, somebody else taking my place. <laughs> but camp still goes on. Exactly. Yeah, I don't do that. Camp, camp is everything. So, so how's camp going? Since we talking about it, how's camp going? Camp is going what is expected for being for being gone so long. You know, because right now Canelo is up next. You hear what I'm saying? Same way PBC working on dead, dead, dead kinks and kinks, you know, getting ready for each one of the major fights and whatnot. We getting ready, you know. Mm -hmm. And we already gave y'all some um, looks. You see how young you look? Hey, that's what I'm saying. I was just <laughs> gave us a preview today, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, you get what I'm saying? So, again, we great. We great. You see the fashion move we bought on y'all today, too? <laughs> 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 so, we doing what we do. You know, shorty, shorty, he keeps staying in his own lane, his own zone. He tell, you know, our conversation, man, we're not worrying about what everybody else does. We focus on our circle. You know what I'm saying? And our circle is, is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And, and stay away from all that, you know, because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, bring them on. 
That's his word now. Bring them on. Mm -hmm. That's it. Bring them on. So, you know, we just go, just do what we're supposed to do. Stay sharp, stay fit. And just get ready for our night. Bring them on. Yeah, Benavidez, he happy. You know, <laughs> Shuck, we want, we trying to have a party that night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, the monster, the Mexican monster. You know, the the thing that's getting me, man. Everybody's up and pit bull up, man. <laughs> hey. I've been laughing at that. Yo, when I was selling it, everybody said, "Oh, you're just trying to duck." Like, man, cool. you get the same. Imagine if you would have knocked uh, Rolly out before Tank did. Oh my God. Can you oh my. You can yeah. you he tried. Yeah, so, so, so you know boxing is doing what it's doing. Everybody fighting. Everybody is fighting. Everybody fighting. Everybody that everybody talk about, they got a fight coming up. And that's what the sport needs, man. That's the main everybody fighting. And I, I keep telling them over and over. It's gonna happen. It's just when it's gonna happen. You get know what I'm saying? Hmm. You know, God said I'm gonna have a nice night. They're gonna have a good night, you know, because that's a fight to be watching. Everybody gonna be at the edge of the seat to watch and see what's going on. You know, they're gonna be all right, they're gonna be all right. I'm trying to see who gonna make weight. That's what I want to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dumb jokers, dumb jokers look big as all I'm doing. Get close to the fight, yo. Like, hold up. <laughs> they ain't got no scale checker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> dumb jokers look big as all I'm doing is going to the fight. I think both of them both of them gonna come in at one forty five. Oh, somebody gonna be paying somebody. Oh, them jokers will pass it all outdoors. Shit. What you think, sis? Y'all wanna place a bet on that? I, I still think the fight gonna get pushed back. No, nah, that fight ain't getting pushed back. They trying to get it and get out the way. Ain't nobody uh -huh. They ain't nobody pushing nothing back. They I can't push it back. They ain't making enough money to push it back. I hope they make it happen, man. But it's going to be something. That's funny. Kenny, like I said again, God said, come and get that bag. Hey, I like his new joint. He said, he the face of boxing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and God said, going to get that money, man. Andre Noble, appreciate the support. Respect to the realest coach. Appreciate you. Yeah. Both of, them, both of them working hard, man. And like I said again, we're going to have some good news in this business, isn't it? Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> we keep something going on. They prayed up and keep it moving. Oh, that's all right. Hey, Kenny, you tell me that all the time. I don't even worry about it no more. Oh, Coach, like yeah. you and they rocking up my masterpiece, Coach. Yeah, man, for some reason, I'm still in Ramadan mode. <laughs> 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 like you and they put one together, coach. Yeah, yeah, I'm still in Ramadan mode, man. <clears throat> hey, how you like the fight, man? What fight? He talking to Aunt. He talking to you, Aunt. I thought it was great, man. I thought it was great. I'll tell you this though. I was watching that. I was like, damn, I didn't realize my guy uh uh John Mugabe didn't really have too much of an inside game. Like from range, he was he was just a hard puncher, man. He was strong, but on the inside, hmm. hard rock. His 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 upper body movement was like top hmm. tier. Like he kept slipping everything, getting on the inside, slipping in, framing him up. He, he ain't slip everything. His ass got. Stopped. Oh no no no! Not at the end. Not at the end. Not in the tenth. Not in the tenth. He definitely got stopped in the tenth. But I'll say this though: uh, what, who was that that was refereeing that fight? Joe Cortez. Yeah, he was lenient. He had uh John Mugabe on a long leash because he was out on his feet. I want to say it was like the third round, something like yeah. that. Yeah. He was getting beat from turnbuckle hey, to turnbuckle. That's I thought it was back in the day. They want to see your ass hit the canvas. I yeah. said, Sheesh, that's how I used to referee. That was a my fight. <laughs> Did they kid it? Yes, indeed. They, they just know when I referee that fight. Nephew Jamari in the building. Appreciate you, appreciate you. He said, what's up, fam? What's up, what's up? They used to love when I refereed that fight, boy, because they know I was going to let them fight. I was going to give you a fight in chance. Man, he's, he, he was he was looking like he was close to getting stopped. But I, I guess that's one of those things where it's like a referee, you got to have a good feel for that. 
you know, yeah. allowing the guy to, you, got you know, eye. hang in the fight and recover and all that stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely got to have a good eye because the way he was getting punched on in that third round, if that was today, especially if Tony Weeks is in the ring, shout out to I my guy Tony today, Weeks. I was talking. That's getting to stopped. Talking to some coaches today, like these referees, man, they gotta, they gotta know how to read when a when a fight is fatigue or, or when he's hurt. A lot of times they be fatigued and they stop the fight because they think he hurt. But the next round he can regroup in the corner and come back strong. Can know, I say something? They don't know the difference. It's probably not even that. It probably made some legislation laws or something to get on the referee because so many deaths that happen. We talk about that all the time, Kenny. You know, them, them deaths that they have, they don't want that happening on their watch. Yeah, they need to make sure these fighters don't have no blood clots when they fly from country to country. That's a lot of things. You get what I'm saying, Kenny? But same way they, look, the same way they go do this Nevada drug testing, they should start a month out to see how much a fighter weigh. If he, if, if, if he 210 a day and three, three weeks, he 154 pounds, hey, some shit might happen, you know? Quick, yeah. that, that ain't Quick, safe at all. The support. He said, Coach Calvin, if Tank fight today, what percentage is he? I can't give y'all that. I can't give y'all that because it's different levels of what we are working on that I'm trying to get him to. Um, I can tell you this. My goddamn hands hurt. <laughs> I don't know if he practiced or something or broke something. I can't tell you that. But I'm in pain, you know. Um I can't I, it's different levels, it's different stuff that I'm trying to figure out because um Ramadan did a lot of stuff, did a lot of great stuff for us, you know. And um right now. I'm just getting this body just start reacting again the way it used to. You know, I'm trying to prove a theory. They talk about ring rush. Ain't no such thing. Mm. You got to do it in the gym. Ain't no such thing. So I'm working on that theory right now to prove a point. Terry, appreciate the support. If Ryan goes in on Haney like he did Tank in the second round, I can see them taking a point from Haney for holding. I think Haney will win, but Ryan can do it. Bam, Bam and Lynch. I remember Tank taking over some North Carolina tournaments. <laughs> um, we'll have loved to see Tank versus Wade Bolton. Wade Bolton. That name sounds familiar. I think Wade Bolton was a hundred. He was a hundred. No, that's a mind. I'm thinking a hundred welterweight kid. I'm interested in that theory, though, Coach. I'm in. A, I'm interested in that theory because I've been, I've been looking at things myself, and I've been saying, you know, I was having a conversation with one of the homies, and I was saying to him, I'm like, I don't think that all inactivity is equal. Because you not, look at not. a lot of these guys that are coming off of layoffs and they either dealing with injuries or, you know, some vices, some bad habits that they have had while they were out of the ring. Things that they picked up, you know, not sticking to a uh, to a particular regimen, letting themselves go in between fights and all that stuff. I tell Calvin all the time, every fighter has their own DNA. Yeah, that's true, but everybody keep putting that 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 thought in their head on certain things, Kenny. Yeah, but it's so, all in the mental. Right. So and it like, got nothing to do. You're right about people got their different DNAs, but when you look at certain fights, you get what I'm saying? Like Ray Leonard was off for five years. He come back and forth. Goddamn Marvin Hagler. I ain't seen no ring rust. Right. It was what they did in the ring. Now and what now, they did in camp. Now, now um um Pitbull Cruises off for a year. He came back. He looked rusty as shit. Then he just, that was before the fight he just had, you know? So it depends on what fighters do when they off. <laughs> you know? Everybody's got a different lifestyle, different schedule. They think different. 
Everybody got their own way of doing things. No, I just bagged a different. I ain't no such thing. You know, you make it up in the ring. Make it up in the gym. Make it up on your train. Face of boxing is already tanked. I got Ryan Garcia winning there. The whole internet's going to go crazy. Tank Davis going to win in the eighth round by knockout. Tank, baby, all the way. Tank going to put this food to sleep. It might be a body shot where Ryan is the counter for is over and he's just on his knees and he can't get up. We got Javon Tank, Dang, Tank Davis, baby. I put 5000 on the fight. If he don't, I'm broke. Because it's Ryan Garcia. <laughs> no, but man, he called it right. He yeah. called it right against Ron. Yeah, he did. I remember that. He called it right. He said a body shot. He said he's going to be on his knees. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. <laughs> but you see how happy the fans was to be there, support, show love, all different type of demographics. You see what I'm saying? They came from everywhere. So yeah, we was in the gym talking about that. I said, yo, Tank way in. Remind me of... Oh, I, I, I ain't supposed to tell y'all this. I've got to hold back on it. Hey, but I'm going to give it up. Stay tuned for something we about to do. Tank Wayan looked at like Martin Luther King speech. Million Man at, Mark. At the, mon at, the, at the monument. That's something I know. That Wayan is something I never forget. When I looked up behind me and I seen all them people and the people hanging out in the car garage trying, I'm like, what that, was, the fuck? that was the Million Man March with Farrakhan, though. I'm like, what? No, yeah, bro? that's the Million Man March, but I'm talking about. When um King. they was at they was at Martin Luther King and they was at the um the yeah. monument yeah and they was that around all the people was out there mm -hmm. and the tank stood up and did like this that's what that remind me of I and mean, I couldn't believe it man that's that 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 was a, a arcanic shot right there mm. yeah <laughs> hey damn said I was at the Bartley's fight versus Roley they didn't have ticket problems then. Nah, they definitely hey, hey, Calvin, this yeah. question, yo. They, when Tank fought Ron Garcia, they said he bought half the damn fans, too. Where them fans at now? Well, that's why they're making that move. Wait a minute, before you get started, I know they from the West Coast. But I don't care where Tank fight, he sells out. So if you got true fans, where his fans at? <laughs> Coach Kenny, Coach Kenny, been the past couple of days. No, I'm looking at Calvin. <laughs> That's why I miss his name because I got nobody make me laugh. <laughs> hey, Calvin, if he bought half the fans that the God said tank, like, where them fans at? Well, because you got a million social media fans, don't mean a million coming to the fight. You feel me? That's true. I don't know. He's a horse. He's a horse behind the fight this time. He's making the most money. And and Bill Haney said every every black boxing fan is supporting his son. <laughs> Big, <laughs> Big Fred said Coach Kenny is logically petty. <laughs> I'm just speaking. I'm just asking questions. Though. Just asking questions, man. Where them fans at? People have them fans in the tank fight. Mm. Remember that. I remember that. Oh, tank ain't just bringing fans. God still bring his too. Where them fans at? They need God still need your help. Man. You feel me? Listen, we got five hundred fifty-nine people in the building, man. Button. Hit the goddamn button. Hit the goddamn button. Hit the goddamn button. <laughs> we have we we having problems with people just pushing the like button. Can y'all just push the like button? <laughs> Man, listen, they, they they come in, they come in, they won't hit the button. They get so they get so um so wrapped up in the content, man. Sometimes they forget. I'll be you gotta reminded. remind them. You gotta give them directives. I'll be reminded. Okay. Them. You know how they do the moment of silence. Let's do a moment of silence, and let's push the button, the like button, just the like button, y'all. Let's push it. Let's see. 
Do me a countdown, see you. Ten Eight. bells. There we go. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We need we need another moment of silence for OJ. Your Hollywood. Seventy six. He did his blessing. He got his blessing from his Lord. Yeah. He made it past seventy years old. Seventy two. Got his promise. Got his promise from the Lord. Mm -hmm. Everything got, after that, blessing. He got yeah, anything after seventy, boy, it's a blessing. Got his promise plus a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Now, hopefully, some of the focus could be shifted back towards everything that he accomplished in his life. You know, it's a shame that like everything that happened in the nineties with that case. Like overshadowed, put a big blemish on him. But you look at his uh, his football career; that dude super accomplished. Yeah. yeah. Well, God. I hope the NF I hope the NFL give him just. Only God can be the judge. You Man, know? The, the internet is undefeated. Yo, like, and it's not funny. But they had a gallon of orange juice with the date on there, April eleventh. Like the internet, the internet, the internet is just undefeated. <laughs> Yeah, ain't that crazy, boy? They they going they gonna find a way to do you know what I mean? But coach, talk to me, coach. Man, just sit, back, just sit back thinking, man. You know. Hey, you see that video? I put up on my story. I didn't, we have, we're in that we're in that African mode there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, you see that, Katie? What's up? I'm gonna check it out. I put that. It might be guns on my story. It's ready to go. Let's go. It's go time, man. Yeah, listen, everybody, everybody, just on the edge of their seat, waiting for that official announcement, so they can so they can book up and go. Anga binga bunga. Hey, I like that. <laughs> hey boy, the my the my spot yesterday, boy. Uh, how you look? That motherfucking jab like a right hand when he when he want throw it. He look good. He look good. Demari gonna be a problem. Demari yep. is a problem. Smash smash bar too and uh, D Malik. Malik in the um championship, ain't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gotta have a strategy for all the guys. Did Sniper win? It was one of them ones that could have went either way. Flip with a corn? Yeah. Okay. The doc. <laughs> the doc one. I'm not can't wait to see him when I get back. Yeah. Doctor's looking good, man. Yeah. The last couple times I've been out here, Coach Kenny, you gave me um you gave me some of the fights. Coach Calvin, I remember a couple weeks ago, you said that you had a couple books in rotation. You add anything new or no. I got another got another fight for you tonight. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on, I'm about to grab my pad. I got a little notepad. I wrote the last one down on here. <laughs> I was talking with one of the coaches today, and um, he reminded me of um, I ran Barkley. He fought. I forgot he fought all the four kings back in the day himself. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Yeah, he, he did fight everybody. Of, he wasn't a part of the four kings, but he fought the four kings. You know. And did and he did good. But anyway, he ain't fight all of them, but he was in the mix. Write down uh Roberta Duran versus Iran Barkley. 
That's a good one. Yeah, that is a good one. I gotta rewatch that one. Yeah, right, my I gotta rewatch that one because uh, last time I watched Iran Barkley, of course, it was the the infamous James Tony fight. Yeah, watch him, watch him against Roberta Duran, man. Man, that was a hell of a fight. Yeah, that was a hell of a fight. I remember recording that on Betamax. <laughs> Wow, you took it all the way back, Betamax. Mm-hmm. Betamax. Roberto Duran. Yeah, and I was watching that uh Sweet Pea versus um Hurtado a little oh. while ago. Man, he caught him on the ropes, and man. Good. Yeah, he went in on him. I like the adjustment that he made because um I want to say it was like in the sixth round. Her title set a nice think, little trap. I think he was down in that fight too. Yeah, he was. He got dropped. He got dropped twice in that fight. Uh, yeah. Sweet Pea. He got dropped in the first round, and in the in the sixth round, her title set a nice little trap. He was moving laterally and then stopped short on him. Fired a little two one, caught him right there. And then in the seventh round, he used the same trap. Had him following him laterally. Stopped on the dime. Fired the two one. Buzzed him. And then in the 11th round, he tried to set him up with the same trap again. But then this time, Sweet P didn't just come straight in. He hit him with a nice little faint, froze him. Then he threw that threw that left hand, and it was a wrap after that. He was man, out on them ropes. Where was the ref at, man? Good Lord. Yeah, the, the commentators, they were on there screaming. Hey, what is the referee seeing? What is he doing? The title's hanging out the ropes. It was all bad. He was trying to let him go out on the shield. <laughs> he went out no. on his <laughs> That's that's beyond going out on your shield. Your man was out before he went through the ropes. He was asleep. Yes, indeed. As soon as that first left hand connected, he was asleep. And it was just <laughs> going out on the shield is the understatement. <laughs> I got to start reading this right here. Uh, one of my friends had gave me this. Yeah. Sport and blood. Okay. Got a couple couple stories in here. I got to go through the little index and see who they talk about in here. But I got this. What's the name going? That'd be dope. See see y'all in the book one day. <laughs> this one they talk about Muhammad Ali, Jack Johnson, and his. Uh, Exile the, the rivalry between Roberto Duran and Esteban de Jesus. Uh, they got got a story on here, got a chapter in here about Aaron Pryor, another mm. one on Don Jordan. You I had watched a documentary one day on uh, what's this dude's name that was out there in Detroit? Uh, Ricky Womack. Oh, yeah, yeah, him and Horton feels to beat each other back to back in the tournaments, yeah. Yeah, it's a shame, man. That that story right there to me it exemplifies like the importance of uh, professionalism. Because you mess around, you get caught up. I think Ricky, I think Ricky got um, he got arrested for like an armed robbery or something like that. Ended up doing like fifteen years. He he got out, then won like four or five fights, and then ended up committing suicide or something like that. So. Yeah. R.I.P. Ricky Womack. And they said he was like one of the more talented guys coming out of that crunk gym. Yes, like in was. the 80s and 90s. He was a great fighter, man. Hey, Senior. What's up, hey, Coach? What Junior up to? He working. He working. Treadmill working. Trying to get that weight yeah, down. He definitely That's trained. Good. That's good. That's good. When you say him, give him a hug for me. Talk about basketball. All right, gotcha. You know your boy fight Saturday, Cal. I know he called me, man. I gotta call him. I'm supposed to, I'm gonna call him tomorrow. I'm gonna call him tomorrow. He called me like, man, you ain't gonna be here. <laughs> he asked me last week, Calvin gonna be here? No, that's right. I'm, 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 I got his mother gonna uh, make sure I get him FaceTime. Make sure I FaceTime him. That's my little dude, y'all. He, he, he always stand by. And then he'll call me, man. You know, check on me. You all right, coach? I'm good. <laughs> 
I wish they was out of school, man. I like to give up some nice experience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Fun mm. Fun looked good. That amateur fight he had. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. Fun Fun strong as shit, man. Man, that dude, he, 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 Miss Tanya, appreciate the support on the super sticker. Smoothie came. Mm -hmm. Color in the chat. Mm -hmm. You had a little bit more color in the chat up there somewhere. See, I'm not sure if you seen that one. See Irvin the Wiz. Hit you with a five piece big nugget. Oh, yeah, I did miss a couple. See Irvin the Wiz, appreciate the support. Coach Cal, when them tank yeah. bugs coming back, I want to get a pair. Well, they come. I, I, I got to take care. Of. I got one pair that I was holding on, you know. Um, Tank working on the line now. I don't know. He working on the line now. He working on man. He's doing a lot of good stuff. He's doing a lot of good stuff. Senior, 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 senior citizen. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, can I ask you? Can I ask? Can I? Can ask you? Have Coach Calvin Kenny? Do they know anything about Floyd buying millions and tank tickets so Tank can be a star? Apparently, I never heard that. This is the first time I ever heard that. Tank, see, this is what y'all misunderstand. Y'all don't know Tank. Tank was doing this since he's been an amateur. When he was an amateur, we used to do shows at Upton. Tell him, Kenny. Man, sell out crowd. We sold out the gym. We had to move All the out. time. We had to move you know, out. So he, we had to move when, out the, to the, the skating ring. Then he sold the skating ring out. With, with. Right. He didn't want to fight. I'm going to tell you, he didn't want to fight. He didn't want to fight. He didn't fight. Sucks. We did so good. We sold out the Dubai Arena too. Hell yeah! So yeah. you know, it, it, people don't understand the method to our madness. You know, all our fighters do good. You know, the ones that we train to actually promote their self. Uh, Chuck, he does good. Um, Two Shop, he does good. The Mai does good. All of them. All of them do good. Man, all, it's not one of our fighters that, that don't have a fan base. You know, and they people be surprised because we preach it, we preach it to them, you know. Um, when Tank was going through his ups and downs, I said, Nigga, we did that when you was an amateur. Mm -hmm. Why would you do it now? You know. Um, we had that conversation, we had that conversation in the gym. Like, yo, he's like, Yeah, I was doing that when I was young. Um, his fight was on MySpace. Remember MySpace, y'all? Yeah, all right, damn, coach. Yeah, I had to take y'all there. That's right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> So, no, I got them all. I got them all. This is the last one. I got them all. So many people was in that calendar. Remember the fire? The fire marshal came and had to tell people. Yo, listen. His last amateur fight. I'll never forget it. Man, I ain't fighting no more. I don't want to fight no more. I said, nigga, do this for me. I guarantee you. Well, that night he came out, he looked at me and told me, thank you. Yeah. That was a night that, is, that was a night of like saluting him for all the service he did in the Amazon. And everybody had a great night that night. Yeah. Miss Tonya Vandross Williams, she said 10,000%. Evening Century Coaches, Calvin and Kenny. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Andre you. Noble, appreciate the support. He said, be Diddy. Was on BFTB saying he got an insider. PBC talked to Al. Do you think that's true? I'm lost. I'm lost with the the um the statement. Inside on what? He did. He said was on BFTB saying he got an insider. PBC to talk to Al. Do you think it's true? If to it talk true, to Al about what? Yeah, if it was true, we'd be seeing some action. Definitely would be. Calvin, I own a brand. Let's connect on boxing. Got to send me. My number ain't hard to find. James I'm all over Brown. the internet. Appreciate the support. DM me on Instagram, chat. Let me know what you got going on. That's all, that's all y'all do is call Senior. Senior directs everything to me. I stay focused on the fighters and the business. DM me on Instagram, chat. Hey, Senior, you sure you want that responsibility? <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I send everybody to say. Hold up, 
Kenny phone was my phone. You know why? Because he said, why are, my fr- why are your friends calling my phone? <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad. I just, got, I just got email. I just got email. Calvin also has a manager, Miss Olivia Pope. Yeah, I ain't seen my girl in a while, man. How she doing? She doing all right. She doing all right. I got I got to make sure I holler at her. That's my girl. She said Calvin got a manager. Let him know Calvin got a manager. Mm-hmm. She takes care of everything. And she says she grinding, coach. I know she is. I can't wait to get back home. We all grinding. <clears throat> got to get my man Kenny out here with me, man. What up, Josh? You got the link, Josh, if you want to jump on. You got the link, chat. Miracle said, is it too late to start boxing at 28? Never too late. Everybody never got too late. I would never tell a person it's too late. He might be that goddamn crazy, yeah, crazy star. I got their own DNA. Yeah, can he say that all the time? He might got that gifted punch. Boy, take him straight to the top. He might got that punch that do like this. Like my man, um, O'Donnell Steves. And I think he, <laughs> he started at age 30. Yeah. What, what y'all think? What, what y'all think about this Shields Bumgarner fight, man? We got to have it. What? We got to have it. Oh, <laughs> we got to have it. You've been, you been doing a deck of cards every night, coach. We got to have it. Look at that. <laughs> we got to have it. <laughs> Who you got? I, you know, I got the goat, man. I was just looking at a picture today. Look, I got a picture. I'm going to send it to you, senior. See the goat, not the goat. Yeah, I'm sitting on the phone all day. I'm on the phone. I can't sit <laughs> look. on my iPhone, man. And, and the computer, I can't get it to come up. I sent it to, um, I sent it Yeah, out. man, look, I'm hitting the link. I'm hitting the link. I'm hitting the link. That's the iPhone? And, it's the iPhone. He won't let me do it. Oh, Somebody said, "How can you do this and do that?" Yeah, you know, the, the, the way you gotta do it, you ain't gonna do all that. I can tell you that now. Well, what I gotta do? I gotta copy too something. Much, too much. Yeah, you the one told me that crap. Be too much, so I already know. That won't do nothing for me, man. I don't, I'm like, Yo, I don't know why it's coming in like that. If I'm sending it from an iPhone, though. I don't know why. Now. It used it used to work. But it, my trust in note don't never let me down. Oh Lord. My note don't never let me down. I don't know why I don't know why it's doing that. If them got their iPhones. No, oh, because Coach Kenny got iPhone and it's coming to him just like it's supposed to. I don't know. Kenny got a high phone. Damn. <laughs> senior, senior citizen. <laughs> Joshua Aiders, appreciate the support. Haney not promoting his own fight. They too busy on an interview tour talking about Tank. I know I heard the same thing too. Man, they, man. It is what it is. I just can't wait to see Slim, Slim, Slim. I can't wait to see both of them in the ring, man. I want to ask all the boxing fans to please support the sport and buy a ticket. Coming straight out of Fonte Davis camp. Support the fight. Please help them out. Kenny, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all, yo. <laughs> I'm asking to support the, the sport of boxing. You shouldn't have to do that. <laughs> They're going to support it. When that crowd come in, just thank me. Thank me later. <laughs> <laughs> well, tomorrow, tomorrow Friday, tomorrow payday, they might go grab the tickets tomorrow. Yeah, that's exactly what he do. He sit there and said, all the black fans coming to see him. <laughs> they get paid tomorrow. Yeah, so hopefully, you know what I mean? Hopefully the, the bill's paid already. And then, you know what I mean? They're going to be all right. The fight going to do what it do, man. Zeke said, I'll pay for tank fight. I ain't paying for Ryan and Haney. I'm good. <laughs> Tune say F Devin Haney. I put that shit on for my daughter to sleep. I'd rather watch paint dry. <laughs> yo, the internet crazy. Hey yo, I put up one of the tanks. What you call it when he came out? I think it was in Baltimore. Mm-hmm. Right there, right there. <laughs> Oh, 
Y'all remember that, don't y'all? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That was a classic right there. What makes somebody wear that uniform next week? Don't post that shit no more. <laughs> I'm gonna hit a milestone in a minute, saying I'm gonna get who the hell that is? Coming, we coming, we chasing it, coach. We coming. We get one hundred. Then I'm, it's great. We gonna go special. Then we gonna go special. K. Okay. everything exclusive. Okay, okay. Everything exclusive. Behind the scenes trips to the fight. Everything. Okay. Well, they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to get in my car. Yeah. They gonna get a. They gonna. They gonna be like, what? Oh my god! But you better jump on this. Yeah, I got something for you. Let me see what it is. I got something for you. Coach. What you got for me? See, y'all like when you bring out something, y'all. Man, hey, shout out to Richie Baby, man. Nephew been working, man. Hey, shout out Richie Baby. Call me, man. He can hear you. Hey, Richie Baby, I got. A, I got a job for you, man. Get emotional because of all the hard work you put in. Oh, I know he did, man. Tank oh didn't God. have a silver spoon in his mouth. You know what I'm saying? He came from the dirt with this. So when it look at it, it's just not about boxing. If you put your mind to it and really work hard, anything is possible. Put the right people around you, anything is possible. You know, far as open the doors for me. If it wasn't for Floyd, I wouldn't have been, you know, a champion at 22. He gave me the chance to fight on his pay per view card. Now we're here, my own pay per view. To prepare for the pay-per-view milestone, the team has made the cross-country journey from Baltimore. Then no easy days lie ahead. Yeah, I'm good. 56 years old. Yeah. It's been that old. Whippersnapper had it in, did you? What'd you say? What'd you say? Oh, you ain't got nothing to say? Oh, he ain't got nothing to say. Yo, man, I ain't know who that is. God damn! Three years ago, but look at it, it's still looking good. <laughs> <laughs> My new nickname somebody gave me on the rise, Paul Gas. Wine, wine. Okay, okay, go <laughs> ahead. Help this well. We do what we do. Shout out from London, the UK. Oh man, appreciate oh man, it. okay, okay, okay. He get this side man. Please, <laughs> Oh man, see, that was a blessing right there, yo. God damn. Hey, baby. Man, he keep talking about. Hey, Rich, man, that was a good one, y'all. Yeah, that was real good. That was a good one. You want him to call the iPhone on the Android? Tell him to call the I don't tell him to call me after the show. iPhone or Android? iPhone. Uh. That was a good one, man. He almost got a chair out of me. You getting you getting good. You almost got one out of me. Mm -hmm. Trying to hold it back. Now I'm getting strong. No, shout out to Richie, man. He be, you know what I mean? He be coming. No, I'm talking. I'm talking with Rich. I'm looking in the camera, talking to Rich boy. He's a baby man. Even mm -hmm. even guess who else gave him some props? Who? Talib gave him some props. Oh yeah. Okay. Man, okay. Talib seen that one he gave to me. He looked at him. He said his mother called him and thought he did it. Damn. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. Baby. Richie B, you on the radar, baby. Mm -hmm. We ready to recruit you. We I'm gonna let him know I got a kid in Baltimore to help put that put the rest of this stuff together. No, but tell, but tell this, when we get finished, we'll come to Baltimore and we'll be putting it together. Richie baby in St. Louis. Oh my god. We got fly him out some type of way. <laughs> he is St. Louis, coach. I gotta fly him out. 
Oh, I gotta, oh, I gotta send a white truck to come get him. Oh shit! <laughs> Sound like Coach Kenny going for a ride. <laughs> hey, that's my man, Kenny. Yo, once thing about Kenny, man. I ain't got to tell him what I'm up to. He in the car with me and we gone. <laughs> I'm going I'm to take him to a robber bank. <laughs> he only, he only asked me, y'all. Just hey. jump in the car and go with me. <laughs> Let's go get it. <laughs> jump in the car and go with me. You don't even know what's going on. You know. They don't even ask, man. Just jump in the car and go. Let's go. They don't ask no questions, man. None. Let's That's go. why I thank my Lord every day for him. I mean, time we've been out of town and back by, by the time everybody woke up and shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man, it sucks. People don't understand our struggle, man. Nigga be coming in the gym in the morning like we coming from home. We be coming from another state. Yeah. Dang. People don't understand our struggle, man. Nobody but God. Hey, y'all, yeah. they, they going to see it, though. Yeah. When it's all said and done, they gonna see it and understand the work that was put in. The, you know what I mean to get where where everybody at. Yeah, that's what I was telling Kenny. I said everybody think this stuff come overnight, man. You gotta be true to it, man. You gotta, you gotta, you really gotta really sit there and really put your mind to it, man. Man, that's one thing I love about this Ramadan, man. This Ramadan, man, man, shorty, we're just talking about old stuff, man. Stuff, stuff, stuff. What he forgot about, right? <laughs> Yeah, but you know, he even said it. He said, "Yo, fasting made me reflect on a lot of things." Hmm. No, so, 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 in that, in that, in that, in that, in that mode of just being able to really give up things and just try to keep a clear mind and just think, you know. Yeah. That's good, y'all had that, that. And know what he said, yo? You know what he said that touched my heart? I ain't do nothing yet. Mm. He said that out of his mouth, man. Mm. I ain't do nothing yet. It starts April, June, June the 21st. No, that rest did him good, man. I sit there and said, yo, law set us down for a reason, yo. He said, what you talking about? I said, yo, man, we was going back to back. Yo, kid, we was in camp. Y'all seem like we, we ain't lived at home. Dude, we was in camp for a year and a half. Yo, so when I when I when when we when we were sitting down talking, I said, yo, you needed that rest. You get what I'm saying? I said, look at you, your body is re, re rejuvenating, you feel it. It's it's like it's like, okay, you ain't go for that second half run, you ain't go for that other half run there. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And I said, they said, and your body not beat up. I'm just yeah. telling him he's been on weight since the Roly fight. He only been in distance twice. This shit ain't gonna never be beat up. <laughs> he don't put the and, then, and, and, and we went back and value that fight. Kenny, me, Russ, and Lauren. Yeah. All the stuff that we doing that we've been doing for the other previous fights to this to that fight. And we sit back and look at it. it. Was a lot of stuff he didn't do for that fight, but one of them fights, he was going. Hey, Kenny, I'm here. Kenny, hey, me and Russ beefing down here, yo. Oh shit, we beefing, yo. Workouts. He's like, damn, nigga, what you went to? I I went mm -hmm. to. Some, I I went pulled out my 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 cheat code on him, yo. I pulled out some drills that we ain't doing years. It takes it, damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Forgot about it. Well, you ain't yo. Get it. Yeah, I went. I went deep back, man. I was, you know, when you sitting up in these hotels and you ain't got nothing to do. I'm strolling. You know what I'm saying, looking at everything that we used to do. Yeah. I even got my two old phones coming to me. I said, "I'm going to go back." Dang. No, nah, right, man. It's 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 it's, 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 it's it's Martin, man. He playing that role of being solid. He playing. A, he trying to be a solid killer. Man, ain't worried about no damn Martin. Ain't nobody say we worried about him. He understand. I think he was listening to the what you call it. Like if I don't say nothing and stay quiet, I won't charm the what you call. It. You remember? Remember how Barrios tried to get away with that? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So he's trying to play that silent role. I see something, Cal. We gonna get him. Oh, I mean, no kidding, kidding. 
Yo, that's why I call you the Bible. I ain't saying that, but you know. You ain't your coach, what's, the round, coach? what's the round, uh, Coach Kenny? What's the round, Coach? Uh, you know, I don't do that, man. I, 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 I just about to say, Coach Kenny. I ain't even going to predict it, man. Listen, let me explain something to you. I'm going to tell you this. You remember how when God said was getting hit? Not, 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 not. God said from the, the DC fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. And the nigga did that like this. He say, I ain't going back out there. Y'all go out there. <laughs> hey, man. This shit about to be crazy, Cal. I already know, man. I told Tank. I said, Tank. I ain't training for no knockout. I came from a touch from God. You remember that, Kitty? <laughs> I remember I told you that at one fight, boy. Yeah, what happened? What happened? I said, Cal, we need a card to win this one. Next round. What happened, Kitty? Next round. I'm God. <laughs> <laughs> that was a black That was a black eye. Yeah, I remember that night, yo. Hey, that's when that's when Coach Mack came a real cut man that night. That nigga had two cuts to cut the hole. Shit. Nigga was bloody all over the place. That's what I ain't catching it on that that time, Kenny. <laughs> Bleeding everywhere, man. Blood was everywhere. I look like Tony Weeks that night. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. We need a punch from God to win this one, Cal. That nigga that punch from God came. I cussed his ass out in the kitty. Yeah. That nigga went out there and boom, boom, boom. Man. You know how somebody lay on their back? You know how somebody said, Tell me! Shout out to Black Ice, man. Old Corey Cummins, man. Yeah, man. Corey Cummins. Corey Cummins, man. I remember I made him get all the way down. What I brought him down to, Kenny? You brought that motherfucker all the way down to 65. He's like, my strip gonna leave me, man. No, it ain't. He knocked that dude out. He knocked that dude out. He knocked him silly, yo. Kenny used to always do this. Man, I ain't messing with him, man. I said, give him to me. I'm gonna bring him back. He said, what the hell you be doing to these niggas? <laughs> Man, I'm like, man, they, if the money don't motivate them, shit. Yo, remember Cassius Cheney? Man, he would have been heavyweight champion by the world. Right now, real shit. Man, oh. hell was like this. Man, Cassius, what's my God, yo? You see that? Yo, yo, how many great knockouts we had on TV, Kenny? Shit, Cassius yeah. knocking them out. Nah, don't even count tank. We ain't even count tank. Man. If they shove a fighters on knockouts, you'd be like, yo, I ain't know he was part of that. Yeah, especially the kid from out of Florida, man. God damn. God damn, damn. He's feet. That Shout guy, out to Snapper. I, I got over Shout out to Snapper for bringing him to us. Yeah. And then uh, 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 the, the heavyweight, uh, what's his name? You just named Cash? Cash, yeah. He yeah. knocked this dude out the ring. He oh, hit, oh, man. ESPN the, the internet is undefeated, yo. They had the dude like he was going to heaven, yo. <laughs> on a, on an escalator, you know the escalator be moving. He gets knocked out the ring, right? You got a certain amount of time to get it, get back in the ring. They show Cash is knock him out the ring. They show him walking back up the steps, but then he got on the elevator was going to heaven. <laughs> it's pouring down out there. Yeah. Damn. Man. They was good old days. That video got over 5 million hits on it. Yeah. Cashes. ESPN. Yeah, yeah that, was a, that was a classic right there. Dang. I might pull that up before I go to bed and look at it. Hey, Coach, you owe up, Coach. Huh? I said you owe up. What I owe up, what? Like we gonna give you a piece. Peace. Uh -oh. Just a piece, yeah. Right, yeah. Just to take out a piece. Do the rest of your main man. Yeah, the store piece. You know, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Yo, we cleaned the place with them, George. <laughs> okay. Why you taking another piece? Taking another piece, like okay, this is good right here.
<laughs> That's real talk. Hey, Kenny, man, when you sit back and look, man, sh- I remember that you used to have that round table off the hallway. We used to sit him down and kick it with him. Remember? Yeah. See, he was 12, 13, 14. Then. Yeah. <laughs> this is the part that get me. He said, Tank, you will look us right in our face and say, I, I, I. <laughs> Go ahead. This is from right out there. <laughs> some, of the, some of the shit we told him, boy, he experienced it too. Yeah, but you know, Sam, yo, he really was listening to us, though. Yeah. He really yeah. was listening to us. You should see him now, Kenny. Y'all, his man, his his thought pattern, man, it's like amazing, man. All about you know, sure. Growing, growing and maturing, man. It's like yo. Yeah. Joshua Friendline, appreciate the support. Salute, rise, fam, and coaches. Good camp blessings. Appreciate you, nephew. Thank you. No, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I wish Senior would have whipped that camera off that night, yo. But you know what's the saying? Some things are not to be showed and told. Man, I'm trying to tell you, like, man, listen, like, hold, let me get the super chat. Tune, how y'all feel about Big Baby Anderson? Y'all think he's the next guy heavyweight? I'm rolling with Frank Sanchez over everybody, but you never know. I'm here. I like, big, I like I like him, man. I really do like him. I like his style. I like his 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 tenacity. And he yeah, he got he got he got he got he got it. He got yeah. it. He just got to just stay focused. Your man did a video on him yesterday. Did he? The one your man down in Florida. What's the old coach name? Oh 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 oh, oh, oh Stacy. Yeah, man. He said he he said he's he's a quitter. Is he? I ain't yeah, see that out of him yet. No, he said by the way he's talking now, you know, talking about I'm only 23 and putting a lot of pressure on me. And Stacy, uh, yeah, Stacy, yeah. I mean, I, I see why you know Stacy old school, so I know why he yeah, said that. Stacy said, said Tyson did it at 20. Riddick Bo did it at I, I forgot what he said, but all of them did it in the early 20s. And he talking about I'm only 23. That's what you're supposed said, to do it. Say when that fighter take him in that deep water. He gonna quit. That's what you're supposed to do. It take a run for it. Or if you look at if you look at the law of average of boxing, that's when they normally make that run. Yeah, he said there's a lot of pressure on him. I like the kid though. I think. No, you I know, really do like it. He got it, man. Somebody ain't in his ear right, man. That's yeah. all. Yeah. That's the problem. I like him. I think he up next if he, you know. Yo, Kenny, he got it. He got to get the right person, people around. He, he definitely got it. He got it, got it, got it. He got you know stop. how we just did this thing? He got that, uh. Yeah. He got that, uh. I mean, but they just not bringing it out of him. He came to Baltimore when he was an amateur, just before he turned pro. Yeah. Yeah, good kid, man. Yeah, good, 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 good. Yeah, I seen his work. I seen his body of work. That's one thing. That's one thing I, I appreciate that I had the time to see a lot of these these these, these superstars' body of work when they was young. I like when them fighters come from out of nowhere. We ain't been saying that though. Upset the ABCs. <laughs> Only person I remember doing that was Trinidad. Upset the ABCs, man. Trinidad came out of nowhere. Was knocking them on. Bing, 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 bing. Got you that. Get got you that street dude, brother Hopkins. <laughs> Put up to where the world was strong enough. We got him. You got you that. He wasn't a Olympian. <laughs> he just wasn't hey, strong. Hey, coach, what fight you got for Ant tonight? What fight I got for Ant tonight? Yeah, Ant like watching classic fights. Who can even giving him? Him no, that's Kenny Lane. That's Kenny Lane. Nah, he already gave me Roberto Duran. Um, I ran Barkley. I already wrote that down. See, I like I like fights like my main man. He's lick his blood. We had the crowd like this. He go out there and smash it. This uh, Kenny. Uh, top here, top Pacquiao. No, not Pacquiao. Yeah, uh, top here, top here, top here. Top Johnny top here. That would have been a good fight with him and Too Sharp would have fought. Yeah, Too Sharp from out of DC. I, 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 I always wanted to see that fight. That would have been a good fight.
I yeah. saw an interview with uh Big Baby Anderson. And from what I from what I gather from him, he seemed like he got an understanding that this is a job for him. And when he was talking about the pressure, I think he was talking about um being a little bit disillusioned. Cause I just seen an interview he did with uh what's my dude's name? Sean Zytel. And he was saying that he had a lot more fun when he was an amateur than once he started turning pro and then dealing with all the the other obligations that come with it as a professional. He was a little bit turned off from that and then having to take care of a whole bunch of people and all that stuff. And uh, he said he got his good days, his bad days. No, but he got it. He just got to get that right person in his ear to let him know, like, yo, you do what you love doing and let the rest of them do what they're supposed to be doing. He probably think he gotta take care of a bunch of people, but no, no, that's the problem. He ain't got the right person. Around. He ain't got the right people around him, but he can still have being able to compartmentalize. Yeah, yeah. you think it's possible for somebody to be super, um, just dialed in and focused, despite no, not necessarily got, got, having gotta, like that passion for it. Like Sugar Ray Robinson, for example, I seen an interview with him, and he was saying how he never really liked boxing like that. He was just really good at it, and it paid his bills. I mean, you know, all I've got different reason why they do it, but in this case, when you sit there and listen to what he's how he's saying, you know what I'm saying? That means there's certain things that you need. He just wanna fight. So if you know, okay, that's what you want to do, you put the right people around him to take care of everything else and just let him fight. But it's certain things like me and Tate was up in Foster. He said, Yo, you got I gotta get my mouthpiece. I said, Nigga, I can't take your teeth to the dentist. You gotta go to the dentist with me. <laughs> 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 right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a certain things I can't do that you gotta do. That's just part of that's just part of the game. You know? Right. And we be sitting down how to make things easy where everybody can get their job done. Cause we know what we deal with. I remember you said nope, nope, that nope, it's not gonna work. No, <laughs> no, it ain't gonna work. It gotta be right here. It gotta be right here, or I'm telling you, it ain't gonna work. They like tell him, Kitty, I go through that all the time, don't I? <laughs> all the time. Kitty be like, yo, I, I just know my guy. I just know my guy. I just know hey, him. I don't need to do none of that no more. Now I just come in. They ain't listening that one time, they damn sure call. Count where you at. Hey, I told you what to do. <laughs> let, me, let me see if I can help y'all, but I told y'all what to do. Y'all don't want to listen. Mm -hmm. Gotta make you know what I mean. Yeah. But based on what I heard from him and the insight that you just shared, that's definitely what it sounds like. It, don't, it to me, it don't sound like like he saw for like he quit or something no, like that. This, he he made it real clear, like, yo, I had a lot of fun when I was doing this for free when I was an amateur, and then now I'm a pro and I got to do X, Y, Z, and sound a third. Definitely sound like he just need a a real solid team around him, and he got to do that's a little bit of reevaluation. That's, that's how if you talk about okay, all the people you got to take care. Of, listen. Do your job. My job is to fight. The problem. So y'all do your job. Y'all figure it out. His problem is he got to take orders from certain people, and, and some some men just can't do that. Not 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 only that, Kenny. It's it's not. You got to look at it. They are fighters, and then the amateurs. It's a lot more stuff that you ain't had to do versus what you had to do as a pro. Yeah, so you got to be able to, to actually let them know. Okay. This is how you set things up. You know how we, you know how we do it. We got to set, set things up where we right in the midst of doing it. Mm. And we still going what we really normally doing. But when you start adding, oh, we got to get you to do this. We got to get you to do that. They ain't trying to do all that. Mm. Come with the territory. Best thing. It comes with the territory. But sometimes, sometimes, how would I sit there and say, um, how would I say this? Say, Floyd used to always say this to me all the time. He got to be professional. He got to be, yo, he ain't you. We got to figure out how we can make it where it can suit everybody. You better get his ass up and go get that bag. <laughs> oh, they're going to do that. That's what I would question. That's why I said certain things that they have to do. He just had a little baby, too, or baby on the way or something. Man, I right. appreciate the support all the way from Canada. Oh. My daughter bought me a tank shirt for my birthday. Mm -hmm. it's the best gift I've ever gotten. Love you, Coach. And Kenny, you are the best in the game. <laughs> thanks, man. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Man, thanks for giving our flowers while we still alive. But that's all I'm saying, Kenny. Kenny, you see what we go through. 
You know, yeah. some fighters that you can do these certain things with, but some fighters you can't. You just got to know your guy. Yeah. So I had an argument with my guys. Like, yo, don't wait for a fight to come. Be ready for the fight to come. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Don't, don't expect for me to be doing all this because I'm trying to take care of other business to make ways for y'all, but y'all got to do y'all part. Y'all part to be prepared. Like, so I go, oh, Kenny, look at this. Kenny, like, yo, let's jump on that. Give us that. Hey, we taking that. Simple. Be ready. I tell I tell the coaches, I said this, yo, even if me and Kenny ain't there, it's still your obligation to do what y'all supposed to do. Because guess what? Somebody gotta take him to the fight. I'm never gonna tell a fighter he can't fight because we're not gonna be there. Stick to it. We got a brand. Stick to it. Don't change nothing. Keep doing what we're doing. Keep doing what we're doing. I, I, I was talking to Hunt. I said, I said, Hunt. Hunt and Steve. I said, yo, y'all train me. Uh, the guys that man Kenny, they said, no. I said, well, what they do when they go in there to fight? They come prepared because we don't change nothing up. Be ready. We got, we got different we got different um, models of cars, but they're coming down the same simile line. Mm-hmm. I don't think no down there. Huh? I don't think no you go coming down that line. No, nah, we ain't bringing no you go down that line. <laughs> <laughs> you already knew what's coming down our line, Kenny. And we showed it so many times. We showed it so many times. I said, yo, so don't change up what we're doing. Stick to the same plan. And everything gonna work out. So if anybody got to take a fight in somewhere, it's the same thing that all the do. No doubt. No doubt. No, that's just real talk. Real talk, man. Hey, appreciate y'all coming on tonight. Another dope show in the book. Shout out to Aunt McQueen. Shout out to Coach Kenny, Coach Calvin coming on, rocking with us, man. Closing arguments. Love over hate. We're back. <laughs> okay, okay. It's easy hey, to hey, do. Hey, it's hey, easy hey, not to do. Video with my Africans in the back. Yo, how they jam it, yo. <laughs> you need to play that. You need to play that, yo. I see something. What you see, Kitty? Tune in June 21st. Okay. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, Kenny. The Bible, y'all. I see something. The Bible, y'all. Oh, man, yo. Can I say okay. something to team? Can I say something to team? Uh, 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 what's his name? Yeah, you can say something. What's his name again? From I don't Mark even know them. I'd be, I be, I be forgetting this name. I was in the market today. They said, yo, who y'all fighting? I couldn't even remember. Frank Martin. Some some South can't some South Parts can't fight going backwards. Don't believe that shit. <laughs> <laughs> don't, believe that, don't believe that shit that South Parts can't fight going backwards. Don't believe that shit. <laughs> can they? It's a mole in the cat. <laughs> can they? <laughs> no, that's our boy Derek James. Man, we just we just tripping, man. Nah, Kenny, I was looking out my window. Let me show y'all my window, y'all. I was looking out my window. I got to get this out. I was looking out my window today. Looking out my window. And I sit there and say, hey, coach of the year against teams that don't get the recognition. We got to beat We got to beat them. That's, that's, that's what my thoughts at. You know, that's my brother, though. You know what? You know what? Derek James, coaches, man. I ain't hear you say it again. I said Derek James, coaches. You keep breaking up, man. That's that's that's, that's the equipment you use. Man. <laughs> Tell me the thing. I said Derek, favorite coaches. Hey, he is a great coach, but guess what? Yeah. Only way you're gonna be greater, you gotta be the great. My man, exile local Keo said he need hands on stick. He gonna get it. Andre Campbell just moved to the DMV from MD Indy, Indiana. Definitely look forward to come get some work with y'all and be more best coaches in the game right now. 
Man, we appreciate that, man. We appreciate it. Come on through, man. We don't try to work now. Appreciate you. Hey, Cindy, when you leave, don't leave, man. When you get us off the line, I got we got exclusive we're going to get. All right. All right. Well, oh, man. Just like that, we out of here. Just like that. <laughs> Say you forgive, but don't forget it. Now you know how we do. Lock that back door, don't let no one through. I told Michi in these streets ain't no loose. He say, cause all oh, this life we ain't put on with this. Yeah. And I understand that this shit wasn't easy, but nigga, we did it. Yeah, yeah. And all them hoes and all them niggas that wasn't fucking with us, then we them niggas. And now we rich, 